Hey, this is Cameron, and welcome to the Practice Log. Today is a very special episode of the Practice Log. Do you know why? Well, let's go to the seat. We'll talk about it. I'll see you there. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why I'm talking to you like you don't know what would be special about this. It's the Century 100, even 100 log. It's been 200 Practice Logs. Yeah, what do you think of that? I was going to do a reaction today, and I think I still will. And I think I'm going to go into a new video, which is kind of special. I'm getting kind of bored of the Guitar Performer documentary. I think I kind of want to start going into like interviews maybe of different instruments. There are some piano interviews that I actually want to look at, which I know, I know. I think there's still something to learn from them. But we'll see. We'll see where we end up. I think three guitar performer documentaries all at the same time is just... Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit tedious. I want some variety. Speaking of variety, another day of practicing the same old stuff. You guys ready? Yeah, it's been 200 logs. That's, that's crazy. I remember all the trial and error I went through with finding out how to juggle editing. All the different formats. You guys remember the old style videos where I do like two practice sessions in a row? That was impossible. That was when editing was new. So so it wasn't like that annoying yet. Yeah, it's funny how used to things you get. Like I remember when I first started editing and I would edit and I would be like kind of nervous to edit sometimes because I, I I wanted to make the video like at least flow and seem normal. Uh, but now when I edit, I like barely even think about it, which is really nice. I don't feel any pressure anymore. I've also noticed this too. My ability to determine if I'm being cringy or not is just completely gone. Like I have no idea anymore. Like I remember I used to cut out so much stuff like when I started because I was like, oh, that's like cringy. Like, what if somebody saw that? That voice is, like, gone. I just put out what I put out. So yeah, a lot of really interesting changes. And overall, I'd recommend it. If you feel like doing it, I recommend putting out 200 daily videos in a row. It's an interesting feeling. All right, well, I'm not going to talk too long. It's just another day in the office. So get your dress shirt on, put on your loafers. We're about to bang out some spreadsheets. <laughs> you guys ever watch Davis Clark on Instagram? Here, I'm going to bring you closer. We're going to go to the thing after this. Locked in for greatness today because it's time to absolutely hammer some Excel spreadsheets. That's how I'm feeling right now. Let's go absolutely hammer this practice session. I'll see you at the piano bench. I know that it sounds like I'm in a windstorm right now, but it's 74 degrees in my apartment. It's getting hot. It's getting hot up in here. My Kindle needs to charge. Oh yeah, let me address the elephant in the room. I have my old microphone back because... The mic that I usually use has this like magic trick function that every 45 days or so it just doesn't work for a day. And I know it's not working because I had it plugged in with the same wire, same interface, same computer, and the mic just doesn't work. And that mic does work, which tells me that it's the mic. I think when it's like 74 degrees, this mic just doesn't work, which is insane. That's like such a normal temperature, like isn't it? <laughs> but whenever it's just a little hot, this mic just does not work. It'll work tomorrow, I guarantee it. it might even work tonight. Super annoying. It's fine. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. But at least I have a backup mic. I actually like the way this mic sounds more, but this mic is also broken. If I touch it a certain way, like, <laughs> picks up radio signal. And it also has a slight hum to it that I have to, like, edit out. Uh, okay. It's time for me to practice. All right. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, f What's going on? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm gonna get slaughtered. Holy sh**, it's gonna be so hot. Hey, um, I just wanted to know, do you guys sell, like, indoor AC units? Do you have those, like, on hand? Okay, you do. All right. Well, I had to cut my practice off a little early because I had my AC on full blast set to 70. My apartment was at 75. My AC ain't working properly. And it's the morning, the sun hasn't even started shining. It's set to be 90 degrees today. So I'm gonna get slaughtered unless I go out and get an AC right now. I'm gonna try to find an indoor AC at Walmart. God help me. The sun will be at its brightest today at like three. It's like 10, 10 right now, I think. Oh God, this is gonna be a close call. If Walmart doesn't have them, I'm screwed. I mean, all my computers in there. I don't think they can handle being 90 degrees. I had to get a dehumidifier for this exact reason. That mic, when it stops working, that's like the canary in the coal mine. Right when that mic wasn't working, I should have known that something catastrophic was gonna happen. I was a fool though, I kept going. Hey, well, you know what? I don't think we're gonna have a cooling issue anymore. Because I got myself, I don't know what the brand is, but it's a nice one. Yeah, so I guess this is the 200 special. I'm going to unbox this thing and I'm going to install it for you. And then we're going to get to practicing after that. Hopefully the electricity in my apartment stays working. It seems that nothing works. So I live in like a really old building and they only keep the AC running like half the year. But with where things are going, like things get pretty hot, right? 
So even during the winter when the AC wasn't working, like at noon, my apartment would be like 80 degrees. It's insane. So I should have bought this thing like six months ago. But I mean, if this stuff is gonna happen now during the summer, it's just gonna be a sauna in there. All my guitars, all my computers will just be screwed. I'm probably gonna write this purchase off too, unless I return it. I'm probably not even gonna return it though, because I, like, I need it. Who knows when the AC will be working again? All right, I need a GPS my way back home because I never go to Walmart. Also, even if I did, I wouldn't know how to get there anyways. I have horrible direction. All right, I need to figure out how I'm gonna load this thing into my apartment. So I'll see you probably in my apartment. Okay, welcome to the unboxing log. This is what you all came here for. I'm sure the title will be related to this air conditioning unit I just got. This is the part where I do that. Let's go ahead and get this puffy open. Remember to always cut towards you guys. Oh, it's got that Pokemon card smell. All right, this thing said easy installation. You got quite a few parts here. All right, what's that part? Let's get all this out. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Well, I have like two hours before the sun comes out. This thing is so heavy. Oh, it said not to lay it on its side. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Oops. Just for the window. All right. Oh, there we go. How much horsepower do you think this thing has? Quite a bit, I'd imagine. My god, it's heavy. There are so many parts to this. What do I do with this foam? Oh no. Remote powered? Is this like a spoiler or something? We can pimp it out? Sweet. Oh my god, I'm so hot. Oh, this is the side. Oh, it's on wheels. Nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna set everything up over there. So I'm gonna change the angle. I need to cool off with a beverage. An ice cold Coca-Cola. Okay, I'm gonna set everything up over there. Yeah, you guys haven't seen this angle in a while. Ah, oh, this is a fine place for it. All right, I'm seeing some screws here, which is a little worrisome because I don't own a screwdriver. I do own a knife. Oh, it comes with a thank you letter. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's prepare the exhaust hose assembly. Press the exhaust hose into the window slider adapter. Unit adapter until the plastic clip. What do I have that looks like that? Let me break apart all this. Okay, we're kind of on the clock right now because the sun's gonna come out. I need to get this thing working. What is this? What in the world am I supposed to do with this? We're not gonna use this for anything, I don't think. Oh, this hurts. Oh, this tape is strong. Oh no. Ah, here we go. All right, we have a remote. We got some batteries. Okay, batteries installed. Boom. We got a hose. This is for like fish tanks. So you siphon water. We need the exhaust hose. That is this thing right here. That stretches. Oh yeah. That's wonderful. That's worth the money right there. All right, the unit adapter, that's this thing. Gotta be. So how is this supposed to, oh. Window adapter, gotta be this. Gotta flip it around. All right, we got a little thing going. Looking good, okay. Oh, geez. Install the exhaust hose assembly to the unit. That's the next step, just put it right on in. All right, I think we're onto something here. Okay, next up is the window slider. So of course this thing is going to go right on in there. If I mess this up, will I like suffocate and die? We're gonna have to open this baby up. So this is what the screws are for. I'm confused how that's gonna stay together. Oh wait, this window doesn't open. Ah, oh, dang. I just realized that this window doesn't open. We have to use that window. Oops, we're good. No! F I dropped the camera a few times there. I'm gonna try to figure out how long this needs to be, and that's like important, so let's do that. Okay, we're gonna need two of these, I think. What in the world is that gonna do? There's no way that's right, but we got that. Okay, now we have to do the foam adhesive. This is the important stuff, guys. Fine. Seems like a pretty decent seal. Can't complain about that. Next, we're inserting this part. Seems pretty good so far. What's next? Wait, is that it? There should be like a water pan or something. Is there a filter in there already? That's the filter. What's in here? 
I was supposed to do that. Well, here's the water tube. Why doesn't it mention the water tube? Hmm. I feel like there's some stuff they're leaving out. Oh. Oh, okay, I found it. Okay, that's a little sketchy, but there's a drain plug, so I have to move this thing to a drain site to actually drain the water from it. Okay, <laughs> sure, whatever. We'll have to work something out with that. I'm not sure what to do about that one. Yeah, okay, well, I think it's ready to go then, because I'm not going to use the heat mode, obviously. So let's just see what happens here. Oh, I have to plug it in. So to plug it in, reset, let's see what we got. Whoa. Whoa! Dang, that air is cold, y'all! Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude. This thing is like gyrating. Woo! Oh my god, it's a dream. Let's bump that air down to 70. Yeah. Alright, we're in business, guys. Pretty cool. It's a little bit loud, but, you know, at least it's not miserable. I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, and I'm gonna get set up to get back to practicing. So, I'll see you there. Alright, well, I'll give a little review. Ooh, the air is getting colder the longer I stay here. Oh yeah, that's like air-conditioned air. Wow, that's so nice. Yeah, so this is my review of the Media 3-in-1 Air Conditiondo Portial. Uh, I can only see the Spanish part. Oh, there we go. Portable air conditioner. Um, it's not that portable. The thing is heavy. If I weren't, like, a capable, strong, strapping man, that would have been absolute, like, it would have been impossible to carry that thing. It's work and it's making noise. That's luxury right there. It's a little loud. Not great for a practice log. That's my first impressions. I'll get back to you in a month and we'll see how it holds up. All right, I'm gonna get back to practicing now. I'll see you there. Hey, welcome to Windy Hands. I just ate lunch. Uh, man, it's been quite a day. We had a little side quest that we had to do. This is gonna have to be a short one. I'm not gonna practice for that long, but I'm gonna try to do something and we'll see where we're at. So. I will see you on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna turn the AC off for a second. Though, man, that thing works. Like, it is... It's getting, like, a little chilly in here, actually. Thermostat still says 75, but it's definitely not 75. So, while I bring you closer, when was the last time Uncle Cameron played the Siciliana for you? It's been a little while. Sorry about that. Why don't we do that today? Having a memory slip. Sorry.
might be the only person in the universe who can have a memory slip while reading the sheet music. I'm not really sure how that works. It's because I'm not really reading it, it's just kind of reminding me. I think I mostly have it memorized, I just didn't want to take the chance right now. Soon, when I practice it more, I will play that from memory. That's, uh, that's fine. That's about what this afternoon deserves. So, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. It's been pretty eventful. Whoa. Alright, we're done. Hey, well, you know, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Got any uh, tech review ideas for me that you want me to do? I'm gonna start doing tech reviews now. As my apartment breaks, I'll have to buy new stuff. So, you know. Oh yeah, usual stuff. If you made it this far, be sure to subscribe, leave a like. Want some guitar lessons? I'll teach you how to play guitar. Just ask me. Email in the description. Got any comment questions? Leave them and I will answer them. As always always. This microphone's like broken. I'm sorry if it's noisy. Yeah, anything else? I think we're all good. I think I want to go outside and let the AC run a little longer. So, I'll see you tonight.